Hey, you guys. Macy here with Carl. Hi, replay viewers. I just was here. We were, I'm just relaxing and realizing that there's only two more nights before we start our five day get super loved camp. And I'm just so excited to do this again. I actually did one in April, so some of you may have been there. Um, but I know there's a lot of new people here. So I am, you know, really looking at all the material in this five-day dating camp. I mean, really, this is the mindset, the emotional healing, the tools, the dating strategies, which I think of those things as the things that help make navigating dating easier, especially for women over 40, over 50, over 60, who may have experienced a different kind of dating style earlier in life. And so this camp is for you. If you're just ready to like not have the heaviness the frustration, the bullshit of the dating thing, and you are you know that you do want to meet the one. You know you do want to share your life with someone. So guess what? This doesn't have to be about going on hundreds of bad dates. This doesn't have to be, oh, how you're going to have to change yourself or, you know, lower the bar or figure out, like, icky ways to meet people. This is really getting into the art and the consciousness of finding the one. So I want you to know that because that's what I am seeing has really transformed people's love attraction faster than anything. And if you're open to learning, if you're the kind of woman who likes personal development, if you're the kind of person who likes, you know, learning easier ways of doing things and is open to a little self-reflection, then you absolutely can dissolve barriers that are likely the things that are keeping you from actually having that love relationship. And for many of you as women who have established yourself in your careers, smart, spiritual, um, successful women, then I know exactly what that's like. I was there too. I know that the concerns that you have are not the same as a 20-year-old would have. These are, these are things that come from having some life experience. They're the things that come from, wow, you know, I definitely don't want this to happen again or that to happen again. This is about getting to a place where it's like, oh, yeah, I, I know more than I did before. And, and we get our bodies aligned with what it is we know we want now so that we're not in that protective mode. How many times have you felt like you sabotaged something or you just feel like, so much ugh, that you don't even want to go there. And I get that. And that's what this dating camp is going to transform for you. So day one, we get clear, we really kind of settle into, okay, well, what actually is this all about? Like, what am, what is the relationship that I'm really wanting to create? And it's not going to be the same process as you've done before. We're not making a man list. We're not making a vision board. It's going to be totally different. And day two, we talk about getting powerful. So like, what are those things that are unconscious or those known and unknown things that push love away? I'm going to teach you all of those things. And guess what? Once you learn, you can't unlearn that which is a really good thing because then you are different. So we'll go through that and I'll give you some cool strategies there. 
And then day three is everyone's favorite, it seems like, because it's really the nitty gritty of, okay, Macy, just tell me what the best sites are. Tell me what the best places are to meet quality candidates. How do you do it? What do you say? What do you do? Like all of that stuff coming from a, the conscious, um, aware process, way of doing it. Not just like throwing yourself into a pen of wolves when you're feeling like a baby bunny. No, <laughs> we're going to do this in a way that's going to give you a sense of, wow, okay, this is for me. This is not for me. Okay. And then you can follow that and do what works for you. And then day four is also a crowd pleaser. It's day four is get radiant. And we do WTF, what the flirt, WTF, what are those ways to consciously connect in this modern dating world? Because it is different. I'll tell you, it's different. And people are coming out and really wanting to create relationships. And you're going to want to know what actually your dating your flirting style is and what that means so that you don't feel like you're doing something that's not you. And then day five is the boom, but a boom, 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 which is when we do get super loved. And this is when I'm going to share with you really powerful, get where and how to find quality partners. And that's going to give you a lot of insight on why the choices that you've made in the past that you don't need to make again, but also giving you a new guideline. This is very practical. I will say as much as I have a lot of the woo-woo, the consciousness, the magic, the, um, the energy work, the inner work, that kind of stuff, we also have the really smart strategic stuff because I know you guys are smart women. You don't really want me to lay out a bunch of icky rules. Remember that book, The Rules? Not, not, not appropriate for the kind of relationship we're talking about, okay? You know, maybe if you want to date or just to hook up or something like that, but this is a different world now. So it requires a different way of being. And this will help you stop the sabotage, stop the you know, beliefs around what you may have around dating that just feel heavy and awful and get you into a place where you can actually have some fun this summer and go on some dates and meet your person. That's what we're here for. Okay. So I was just here reading my notes, hanging out in front of my kitschy bed frame <laughs> with, uh, with the crazy dogs. There's Carl um, and beauty queens right in front of me, but it's a, it's an X rated shot. So I'm not going to show you. Um, but I'm really grateful for, for all of you who are here. And if you listen to this whole video, thank you. Will you say hello? I want to know who you are so that I can meet you because there's a lot of new people in this group. So I cannot wait to meet you. And I'm going to make sure that we have ways to connect, um, personally, in the series next week. So every day, 1130 live in the group, if you can be here live, please do. Just mark your calendar, have lunch with me. You know, you can bring your lunch, sit there, do the processes and write some notes while you're having lunch. It's great. Um, it's a lunch date. Um, and then there'll be surprises along the way. I always seem to find something bizarre to uh, bring into the whole mix so that there's some camp shenanigans. And then what else? Um, well, there'll be more. I'll probably pop in again this weekend and I'd like to do a clearing before we even start camp. So look for that in this group before day one on Monday, um, where we'll probably do a little process to clear the space, open up your heart, so that you can really receive this. And please do let me know, what is it that you would like? What is it that you're hoping for? When it comes to dating and meeting your person 
and, you know, living your life, what is it that is challenging for you? Um, and certainly if you haven't taken the Love Vibe Quiz, which you can just go to lovevibequiz.com, that's a great place to do a personal assessment. Personal assessment to see, oh, okay, these are these things I haven't even considered. Um, every question you answer on that basically is a point that needs to be considered if you want to create a conscious loving relationship. And you get to rate those. And when you do that, guess what? You have more awareness. And when you have that, then you can uh, make different choices or get help or use the five-day camp next week to uh, expand into those areas that you know you would like to change or grow. So thanks for listening and we'll see you really soon. Bye everyone. See you at camp.